it is Jules and welcome to another video. This is going to be part two video for book reviews. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about five books. Um, so, and these are actually, I think, mostly shorter books. Yeah, these are mostly shorter ones. So this video shouldn't be too long. So we're going to go ahead and jump into these more of uh, cutesy books mostly here. And some of them are heartwarming and that kind of thing. So the first book I'm going to talk about is going to be A Friend at Midnight. Oh, um, and they'll be right here. By... Caroline B. Cooney, I believe, which you guys will see. In this book, you actually follow a teenager, I believe, or almost. And she's just kind of going through stuff. But then it's um, more end up being about her brother and everything. Because um, her brother... Their dad ends up, like, leaving him so, um, and all that. And just a lot goes on in this book. And it's short, so I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give spoilers. Like, I, I want this to be a free, um, I mean, a free, spoiler-free video. There we go. Um, so, yeah, pretty much... Um, let go on between basically the sister and brother and um their bond gets better at um gets really close as things move along so there's i would definitely say that that their bond got really really close especially towards the end so i definitely recommend this book this book is really a good heart touching book it's a great also break from our really really big books we read and all that but also it is a little bit of a can be a tearjerker a little bit um uh, it it definitely shook me up a little bit i did not cry but it does have those elements in it so it's possible um but a good book i gave it four stars um so, definitely, if you're into the heart wrenching a little bit and touching, um, definitely check this book out. Book two, we have Out of the Dust by Karen Hess. This is actually a book of poems, and I only gave this book 3.75 stars. I thought it was okay. It was a good, um, touching poems a little bit some of them but um for me it kind of just was um just not for me this particular set of poems they're pretty good um they just didn't like um how can I say it I guess didn't touch me as much as I thought they would so um so I was disappointed with that. So um, I need to stop saying so. <laughs> I just realized that price is so like five times. Sorry about that. Anyways, it was definitely um that law the lack of something. So there I go again. Sorry guys. Now we'll move on to the next book. Which is a kid's book. This is um, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carlisle, I believe. And it was adorable. It was a reread. And I read it to um, a young buddy I know that rides my um, bus. So, and all that when I take the bus um, to work and stuff. So, yeah. It was just one of the days I wanted to read. I decided to read to one of the youngins and he thought it was adorable um he got a kick out of it and it was just fun so i gave this book four stars i still loved it 
even I read it when I was younger and I still loved it now. It was a cute, quick read just to kind of get a break and all that. And it relieved um, stress I was having at the time. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend this book. Just to kind of make you laugh, chuckle, because it definitely made me laugh and chuckle because I remember reading it when I was younger and it was just so cute and also I couldn't help but just laugh and all this and even got my young young friend to laugh as well. He enjoyed it. So now next book, I believe we're on book four and book four is Love and Misadventure by Lang Lev. I just like finished this book, which I mentioned in another video, I believe, um, not long ago. Um, this book, oh my god, this book definitely touched my heart. This is a set of poems. I love this book. I would read this over and over. This book definitely just had that right element for me. Um, definitely was the right time for me to read this book. I really enjoyed this one. I gave this book, I believe, four, maybe five. I can't remember which one I actually gave it, but it was good. Um, a not good, so good. I loved it, but there was a few I did not. Um, I thought were good, but um, didn't touch me. But there's a lot in there that did. But I can't remember if I gave it a four or a five. So, but I really, really love this one. And then the last book is Animal Prince by Mae Williams. I like think the cover is just so romantic, cute, but so romantic um, and very. Na uh, romantic nature going on. It's gorgeous. Um, I love the country. So that's why you guys can tell why I love this cover. Which it's going to be a picture. Uh, it'd be nice to get a copy of this book. And also this book has two more books to it. Because it's a series. I forget what the series is called. Because then um, before I get to what the other two are. In this book, you have Colette, and I forget the male character's name, um, but they're on an island kind of thing, and she has um, her whole, all her sisters got their own place, but they own this big, like, area on the island, and um, he, his intentions ain't good at first, and all this, and then things just get kind of <laughs> going. So, yeah, it's not that long of a book. I managed to finish this book in, I think, a day or two. Um, three days. I take that back. Three days. Now that I remember, it was three days. And it, it, I loved it. It was fluffy. It was cute. I, like, loved it. Even the little scene with the dog. That was just adorable. That just, uh, I would actually reread this book again because it was just that quirky um, type of feel to it. So, and there's two books, like I mentioned, and that is Snow Prince and Fingerprints. These two books I have not read yet. I do want to read these two. Um, so, yeah, hopefully can get to those soon. So, I might read book one, which I'll show again here. Um, I might read Ammo Prints again and then go on to Snow Prints and Fingerprints. So, um really really would not mind <laughs> so that is it for this lovely part two video reviews i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video which probably be part three video first or it will be um i just had thought um thought of the video and i just forgot or it'll be a different video so Expect the um that one or the other. Um oh yeah, Cramathon TBR. I still have to put up yet. So I'll see you guys in either the next review video or my Cramathon TBR. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.